Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer and in this video we're going to be watching episodes from The Big Bang Theory Season 7 to see how accurate all the science and technology in these episodes really are. My arm is feeling numb. <laughs> Nailed it. That's the wrong arm for a heart attack, doofus. My point is, I'm sure there are things... It's not always that the left arm is the one to like look for because some of the symptoms of a heart attack could affect your right arm as well. The reason that left arm pain is a bigger concern is because the nerves that branch from the heart and those coming from the arm send signals to the same brain cells. An actual heart attack can cause pain in really either arm or the jaw, the neck, back, your tongue. Like there's a lot of places where you would feel it's a heaviness, tightness, or a pressure. It's just if it, if you really feel it radiating in the left arm, then that is a bigger concern. Amy, I was off by a factor of 10,000. But the Chinese team found the element. Yeah, well, they shouldn't have. My calculations were wrong. There must be some resonance between the elements I didn't know about. This is something I haven't seen since, uh, gosh, uh, high school and college chemistry. But what Sheldon has on the board are a list of electron orbitals for very, very specific sets of elements. And so the, he, he's doing a shorthand form of it because they all start... It's a S orbital, P orbital, D orbital. Oh gosh, uh, what do you have on the board? Electron orbitals are regions of space within the atom where electrons are most likely to be found. Each orbital can hold up to two electrons that differ in a property known as spin. Orbitals are defined as quantum numbers such as 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, and that goes back to the letters I was saying earlier. Those are s, p, d, f orbitals. Hey, chemistry people, then uh, comment below. I, I I know I'm botching this. It's been years since I've had to look at this stuff. Uh, but the reason that Sheldon's look like that is because he is only working with what are called super heavy elements. And the uh, how those are defined is elements beyond the atomic number of 104. And the reason that they're in a whole separate category is because these elements are all artificially made. You cannot actually find these in nature at least not on Earth, and they certainly are very, very unstable. So that's why whenever uh, these super heavy, um, super heavy elements are created, it's done by just smashing a bunch of protons together and colliding them. And Because in theory, there's no end to how many elements can exist because the more protons you add, then you've created a new element. Like The neutrons don't determine that as the protons do. The only problem is the larger you get, the more unstable. So the question that a lot of scientists ask at the Large Hadron Collider is, if you can only make this thing show up on a graph for a femtosecond, which is like one times 10 to the negative 15th of a second, are we really gonna call that a stable element? Like, probably not. Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Sorry. I replaced you with a newer model. <laughs> We're making nano vacuum tubes. Oh, it's interesting. Bill Nye is actually a legitimate engineer, and he, he's not just a actor. Like he, he actually is quite knowledgeable. He began his career as a mechanical engineer for Boeing in Seattle, where, and I think they did definitely did this on purpose, based off of what uh, he was working on in the um, show just now. Bill Nye invented a hydraulic resonance suppressor tube that is used in the Boeing 747 airplanes. Then in 1986, he left to pursue a career in comedy. The character that Arthur Jeffries is representing in the show is Don Herbert. Don Herbert had a show called Mr. Wizard, and that was actually someone who Bill Nye was very fond of. In fact, in um, Herbert's obituary, Bill Nye wrote, Herbert's techniques and performances helped create the United States first generation of homegrown rocket scientists just in time to respond to Sputnik. He sent us to the moon, he changed the world. For a lot of people in our generation, think of it as Don Herbert is the original Bill Nye the Science Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I wish you all the best rest of your day.